This tutorial looks at how a fertilizer such as ammonium nitrate can be made in the school laboratory. Given the name of a fertilizer, you'll be expected to name the acid and the alkali that will be needed to make that. Also, you'll be expected to know the brief experimental details for making a solid fertilizer from this acid and this alkali. The majority of fertilizers are salts, which are made when an acid is reacted with a, a base or a soluble base called an alkali uh, in the right proportions, and this is a neutralization reaction. An example of one of these fertilizers, which is a salt, is ammonium sulfate. Now, in order to make ammonium sulfate, you'd need the base, ammonia, but you'd also need an acid. So to make the sulfate, you'd need to use sulfuric acid. Different acids make different salt types. So if you were using nitric acid, you'd expect to make a nitrate. Uh, if you were using sulfuric acid, you'd make a sulfate. Hydrochloric acid would make a chloride. And phosphoric acid would make a phosphate. So the clue is in the name, phos, phos, chlor, Chlor, self, self, nitre, nitre. The other part of the salt name is the first part. So this comes from the alkali. Alkalis are usually metal hydroxides. So if we were tasked with making potassium sulfate as a fertilizer, you would use sulfuric acid. But you'd use potassium hydroxide. If we were going to make some other fertilizers, let's think about which acids and alkalis we could use to make these. Okay, if we're making potassium nitrate, potassium part would come from potassium hydroxide, whereas the nitrate part would come from nitric acid. In order to make ammonium nitrate we'd use ammonia and again nitric acid and in order to make ammonium phosphate again we'd use ammonia but this time in order to make a phosphate we'd use phosphoric acid. Now on to the experimental details of making a fertilizer. You need a lot of equipment in order to make a fertilizer, but essentially we'd need to use um, an acid and an alkali. And in this case, trying to make uh, potassium nitrate, we would use potassium hydroxide and we'd use nitric acid. That would allow us to make our potassium nitrate. Good fertilizer because it contains two of those essential uh, elements potassium and nitrogen. In order to do this neutralization reaction we use a method called titration and that involves using a burette. A picture of that coming up on the next slide. We'd start off with filling the burette with the nitric acid using a funnel and then filling up the tap, uh, just release the tap a small amount to fill up the tap and then take that either to zero or to a particular reading. We'd use potassium hydroxide as our alkali and we'd use a measuring pipette measuring exactly 25 cubic centimetres of that into a conical flask and then in order to tell us when the neutralisation has occurred we'd use an indicator such as in this case litmus indicator or phenolphthalein a simple indicator that gives us just the two colours. Once we'd added that litmus into the conical flask with the potassium hydroxide, the litmus would have turned blue, showing that it's an alkali. We then add the nitric acid in small portions while shaking gently and watching to see whether there's a change of colour in the indicator. And when the indicator changes colour and it's just changed colour to red, that's when we would stop adding the um, acid from the burette and we'd record the volume that we were down to now and work out the volume that we'd added as accurately as possible. 
Now we have to do the titration all over again. So we fill up our burette with nitric acid again and we put a fresh 25 cubic centimetres of the potassium hydroxide alkali into the flask and uh, this time no indicator. And the reason why no indicator is because we know how much of the acid we need to add to it. So we simply run in that same volume of the nitric acid into the flask and that gives us a neutral solution of the salt, potassium uh, nitrate and water. Now in order to make the crystals we need to drive away the water so we then transfer some of that solution from that flask into a, an evaporating basin and we warm that up on a Bunsen burner and that will drive away the water and when most of the water has evaporated and crystals are starting to appear in that mixture then we stop heating. We then allow the basin to cool down and as the temperature decreases so the solubility of the potassium nitrate decreases as well and more and more crystals come out of solution. We've then got a mixture of potassium nitrate crystals and the rest of the solution. So in order to get that uh, separated we then filter off the crystals and then dry them between dry filter papers and we end up with some crystals of our fertilizer potassium nitrate. If we wanted to make any other fertilizer we do it in pretty much the same way except we might choose a different acid and a different alkali so for example if we wanted to make ammonium sulfate we'd use uh, ammonia as our alkali in the flask and we'd use sulfuric acid as the acid in the burette.